Welcome to SharePoint Online Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss about the site settings in SharePoint site. And also we'll discuss how we can change the existing site title and how we can add the description and the logo to the site. And also we'll discuss about the change the look option in SPO site. And also we'll discuss about how we can add a background image to the entire site and how we can change the site layouts and also how we can apply the color palette and we can also change the font inside the SharePoint online site. So let's get started with that. So for that I'm going to SharePoint site and this is a site collection. So in the last session we were discussed about themes and how we can work with this change the look option here. When you hit this change the look and we have theme, header, navigation and footer. And also we have another change the look option inside site settings. Before going to site settings, there is a site information option available in the site action gear. Click on it. Now we have a site logo option. This one we discussed and there is a site name option and site description option. And uh, now this is not a hub site. So that's why you cannot able to see the hub site association here. And also we have delete this site option. And uh, we can save if you add something or if you modify something, you can able to save from here or you can able to cancel. But here we have an option named as view all site settings. To go to site settings, here we have direct option. Click here. It will redirect us to the site settings page. Or otherwise, if you go to the site contents from the site action gear, go to site contents. Inside site contents also, we can able to see the site settings option. Click on this site settings option. And now we can able to see all the site settings here and these all are related to site and this is also related to site and these options are related to site collection if you are in a sub site and you cannot able to see these options and there is an option will be shown go to top site collection settings and these are different different type of settings and we have users and permissions we have look and fill in this video we'll majorly focus on this area now first we'll discuss about title description and logo when you go to this option now you can able to change this to Rishan solutions to RSIT site and description also you can give optional and this is already be given and I'm changing to Rishan solutions now there is a default logo which is appearing here that is a SharePoint logo which we already have and if you want to add any other logo then you can get it from here insert logo from computer when we hit this option and the window will appear like this and there is a browse option click on it and here we have a different logo and click this logo click open and then click OK see the logo is changing now earlier the logo is different now the logo is different and if you want to give any alternative text for this picture yes you can able to give sometimes if this image will if image is not rendering on the page so the alternative text will appear on that particular place now we change it this three click ok it will save now you can see this logo the latest logo and uh, if we go to the home page now see you can able to see the site name as RSIT site just before it is Rishan solutions this way we can able to modify the title description and logo and also if you go to the site information again and you can able to see the latest things which we updated now here and here and we'll go to all settings so under this we have another option named as quick launch click on this quick launch bar now here we have couple of options quick launch bar appearing here when you are when you go to any of the page something like site settings you can able to see this quick launch bar this one we can call it as an a current navigation or quick launch bar or a quick navigation we can say this one go back to quick navigation now we have home documents pages recent and site contents you can able to see this one here and each and every link will have the edit option here you can see you can see you can see and this home is an a header document is an a header pages and is a header and the recent also a header and site contents also and if you want to create any header like this and you have to use this one that is new heading 
in the new heading we can give Prashant Solutions dot com. I am giving an external site name and I can able to type some description here and this is a web address. When we click OK and this RSIT will be available here. Under this if you want to create any any link, I'm sorry. So it is redirecting to that place. Under this if you want to create any sub link, just go to here. Of course, when you hit this one, it is it is going to a different page to edit that header. But if you want to add a link inside that, we'll see how we can add that. First, we'll add a new navigation link here. So here I'm just giving something like office.com. Description I'm giving office. And now here you can able to see heading. And if you want to keep that inside RSIT, yes, you can select that one click OK now the navigation link which is added under this one you can able to see in the quick navigation also if you see this one and under that this is and here we have the change the order option we'll see how it works now <clears throat> we have home in first place and documents in second place pages in third place and recent in fourth place now I want to keep this RSIT in first place and then site contents in second place. When you click OK, the order will change. Now see the order is changed RSIT in first place. And when you change that one, the sublinks also appears under that itself. Now here the recent and last place site contents in second place. So we have total three options here. One is adding the new navigation links. The second one is adding the headings the last one is change order so this way you can able to create the headers you can able to create the navigation links under the quick launch bar or a quick navigation bar or left navigation we'll go back to the site settings and we'll see the last option this is most important click change the look now from here we can change the themes of the sites now we have couple of themes available and these themes are also available in shape and on premise but the current one is the office 365 theme and if you want to change that to different yes you can able to change that for example now i want to change this to this green color select this one when you select this now you can able to see four options here in the left side the very first option is background image the second option is with a color palette and the third option is layout we have two layouts from shape and 2013 one is seattle another one is oslo and uh, the next one is font now uh, we'll see one after another so before before checking this first we'll try this one out and then we'll see the difference and we'll come back and we'll check how it is working now see yes i want to keep this one Now see the changes is applied to this and go to the home page and the home page also in the background you can able to see a light green color and uh, the font is changed and the colors is changed automatically it's coming a kind of completely uh, green type now if you want to change that again we'll go back to site information then click on view all settings again we'll go to change the look option now we have this theme applied we'll open this one now i'm not going to change the theme we'll change some background images and color palettes will change how it works now i don't want to keep this flower in the back end click on change click browse now we'll go to some downloads and I have wallpaper to click open and it's a jpg file if you want to add any comments to this particular version you can click OK 
done this is the background and it is applied now we are not right so that's why we can able to see flower but here you can able to see the background is changed now if you want to change this color palette you can able to change this color palette see if you don't like this you can move this you can go to this you can go to this way you can pick the colors this one i'll select this one and the next one is site layout the site layout have two things one is seattle another one is oslo now see this this is the default uh, uh, site layout and which contains the left navigation and the top navigation if you go to oslo now your left navigation is gone and your menu is also different the navigation menu also different select this one the navigation menu also different so if you want to choose this kind of layout you can or otherwise you can go with this layout and the last one is font now for example if you don't like that font and you can go with this now you can see the different different font here now we can able to, <coughs> sorry we can able to change the background image we can able to change the color palette and we can able to change the site layout and we can able to change the fonts also inside the change the look option click try it out you can able to see here now the font is different and the background is different and if you want to keep this use click yes keep it now see the background image which we applied i will go to home page a home page contains some um, web parts and we cannot able to see much background image but if you go to site settings page again site information and click view all settings close this one now you can able to see the background image clearly and your options also available here so we covered how we can change the title description and logo how we can modify this quick navigation bar how we can change the look of the site and also we discussed how we can put the background image on the site and also we have we we discussed how we can change the font in entire site this font we selected and it is available in the entire site and also we used a seattle layout for this site this way we can work with this way we can work with the look and feel section if you are in a publishing site if you are enabling the publishing more more publishing features on this side the options will increase on under this section that also will discuss in the upcoming sessions that's it about this video thanks for watching